It's no secret that the Earth is getting a little warmer every year. Climate change is accompanied by many negative consequences, including droughts all over the world. The summer of 2022 was particularly dry for certain regions and countries. As the waters of rivers and reservoirs dry up, archaeological and historical treasures long hidden are emerging once more. From a ghost town in Spain to a gigantic World War II bomb, here are the 20 bizarre discoveries found in drained water bodies. Number 20. Pistols and Knife Found at Bottom of Drained Tempe Town Lake You know that recurring movie scene where one of the characters throws a firearm or knife into a lake? Well, as it turns out, it doesn't just happen in the movies, as Tempe police recently found out. When the Tempe Lake was drained in March 2016, officers found a number of weapons at the bottom of it. They recovered one knife and three guns, one of which had been stolen, as well as parts of a fourth pistol. The lake was being drained to complete construction of a new hydraulically operated steel gate dam that was to replace an inflatable rubber system dam that was becoming a little outdated. Police now have to go through the arduous task of looking into the firearms to see if they were used in any unsolved crime. On April 12th, the dam was finished and the water started pouring back into the lake at the rate of one foot per day. It was so fast that the lake was once again full by late April. Imagine having thrown your weapon into the lake thinking you're safe from the cops ever finding it for this to happen. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the star topic. Scientists' terrifying new discovery hidden under this lake changes everything. Experts have recently made a terrifying discovery at the bottom of a lake in the U.S. They're claiming to have found Jason Voorhees. Yeah, the character from Friday the 13th is not only as real as you and me, but he's also very much still alive. The scientists were looking for new species of sweetwater algae when they stumbled upon the infamous horror movie character tied up at the bottom of the lake. The location hasn't been disclosed, but we all know it was at Crystal Lake. At first, the scientists thought it was a mannequin, you know, to scare divers. But as they got closer, they could see that there was a sparkle behind the mask. Jason was looking back at him. Of course, the group of experts ran away in sheer terror, and they have notified the police. What they'll do next, nobody knows. Do you think they should take him out of the lake? Or do you think it would be better to just leave him there? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Ancient city unearthed in Iraq after extreme drought dries up Tigris River, archaeologists say. During the summer of 2022, numerous local media reported the reappearance of the ruins of a sunken city in Kamuni near Dahok in Iraqi Kurdistan, where there's the largest water reservoir in Iraq formed from a dam built on the Tigris River. Iraq is one of the countries in the world most affected by climate change. Due to the severe drought that had been plaguing the region, large quantities of water have been drawn from the reservoir, lowering the water level so low that the tip of the buildings of a long-lost ancient city, completed with a palace and a sprawling fort, were seen for the first time since the 1980s, the date of the construction of the reservoir. According to archaeologists, it is probably the ancient city of Zakiku, more than 3,400 years old and dating from the time of the Kingdom of Mitanni from 1500 to 1300 BC, which encompassed northeastern Syria, southern Turkey, and northwestern Iraq. The geographical location of the site makes the task of archaeology particularly difficult. The excavations will take years, assures an archaeologist on the site. The settlement was likely a key hub during the Mitanni Empire, and there will surely be a lot of exciting discoveries to come from this site. Number 18. California's drought has surfaced a plane at the bottom of a lake. It could solve the mystery of a 1965 crash. 
It's all over the news. California has been suffering from severe droughts for the past few years. And although droughts are a terribly destructive phenomenon, sometimes there's a small silver lining, albeit not enough to make up for the situation. As water levels rapidly declined in the region, officials have discovered the remains of what they believe is a plane that crashed back in 1965. If true, this discovery could be the key component to solve a decades-old aviation mystery. The fully intact plane was first spotted by workers testing underwater sonar technology in Folsom Lake, and it perfectly matches the description of the Piper Comanche 250, the missing plane. On New Year's Day of 1965, the Piper Comanche 250 had a mid-air collision with another plane. The accident killed all four people on board. The body of the pilot was found shortly after, but the bodies of the three passengers were never found, despite searches taking place as recently as 2014. The brother of one of the victims, Frank Wilcox, never stopped looking for his brother's remains. Unfortunately, he died two years ago having never seen an end to such a tragic story. For now, it's not clear if the plane can be recovered, but at least now we know where it had been all these years. Number 17. Lake Mead reveals sunken World War II-era boat as water levels plummet. A sunken boat that dates from the times of World War II is the latest of many discoveries to emerge from a shrinking water reservoir that straddles Nevada and Arizona. The Higgins Beach landing craft that had been, for decades, 185 feet below the surface of the water at Lake Mead, which is the largest man-made reservoir in the United States, is now almost halfway out of the water. The historical sunken ship lies less than a mile from Lake Mead Marina and Hemingway Harbor, where it had been sunk by the marina. According to dive tours company Las Vegas Tours, the boat had been used to survey the Colorado River for years, but it was eventually sold and sunk. The company that made this kind of ships, Higgins Industries in New Orleans, built several thousand beach landing craft between 1942 and 1945. In fact, around 1,500 of them were deployed at Normandy on June 6, 1944, an infamous day otherwise known as D-Day. According to the experts, drought and climate change are the culprits of the lake dropping to its lowest level since it was healthily full two decades ago. At this time, the lake is at 27% capacity, inching dangerously closer to Deadpool levels. Number 16. Lost Temple Reappears After Drought Dries Up a Reservoir in Thailand Drought reveals submerged temple, read the headlines of the Malaysian daily The Sun on Wednesday, August 7, 2019, posting a photo of Thai worshippers kneeling in front of a headless Buddha statue. In neighboring Thailand, the ruins of a Buddhist monastery submerged for 20 years in the reservoir of a dam had emerged as if by magic. It didn't take much to trigger a crazed rush of Thais that ran to visit the site. For many of them, this was a supernatural phenomenon, a sign from the gods. For the more pragmatic type people, there was a perfectly scientific explanation as to why a gigantic Buddha statue and a Buddhist temple appeared so suddenly. There was an unprecedented drought in the area that dried up the reservoir to less than 3% of its usual capacity, according to the sun. Wat Nong Buayai, a fairly recent monastery, had been sacrificed during the impoundment of a dam 20 years prior to this event in the province of Lopburi, a structure which, in normal times, makes it possible to irrigate half a million hectares of agricultural land, but which only irrigates a thousand today. So is this a simple drought or a message from the heavens? That's for each one of us to decide for ourselves. Number 15 river in China dries up, revealing 600-year-old Buddhist statues. Unprecedented droughts on the Yangtze River in China unveiled three long-lost Buddhist statues during the summer of 2022. The carved trio of Buddhist statues, which is believed to be at least 600 years old, was normally submerged on a small island reef in the Yangtze River known as Fu Liang near the Chinese city of Chongqing. The statues are thought to have been carved in the Ming and Qing dynasties. One of the three statues represents a monk calmly meditating on a lotus petal. Lotuses are important Buddhist symbols. 
These delicate and beautiful aquatic plants represent the journey towards enlightenment or spiritual awakening. These stunning statues have long been submerged beneath the beautiful, winding Yangtze River. However, since July in China, the area around the Yangtze has seen 45% less rain than usual and, as a result, 66 major rivers and streams have dried up in Chongqing. The Yangtze's water level dropped sharply as the heat rose, with temperatures hitting record highs. China is experiencing its worst drought on record this year. The Yangtze is the longest river in Asia and the third longest in the world. It's still flowing, albeit at a rather their diminished capacity. Who knows what else we'll find in the depths of such a magnificent river. Number 14. The Canal St. Martin with some 100,000 cubed meters of water over 2 kilometers in length, the St. Martin Canal, once emptied, is full of surprises. Each of the canal's dry runs reveals its share of improbable finds. The 2016 operation was no exception to the rule. The canal was put back into operation after repairing the locks, consolidating the funds, and improving the waterways. Cranes and dump trucks took turns to extract the dirt from the bottom. In total, 9,000 tons of polluted silt and 5,000 tons of unpolluted silt were transported to storage containers. The bulldozers also brought up a large series of objects. Cans, bottles, and bicycles were found in large quantities, and apparently Parisians had learned their lesson since the previous cleaning operation in 2001. That time, they had recovered bathtubs, washing machines, tires, ski boots, bicycles, and even a drone. As well as scooters, wheelchairs, and parking meters were recovered from the bottom of the canal. The Huffington Post reports that the operations to dry out the canal, carried out on average every decade since 1866, have made it possible to make curious discoveries. An ancient chest in 1886, a bomb in 1916, and a sacred vessel as well as a human skull in 1925. Today, throwing waste into the canal is equivalent to leaving rubbish on the public highway, a gesture punishable by a 68 euro fine. Number 13. Wadi Al Hitan, Whale Valley. The Wadi Al Hitan, or the Valley of the Whales, is a wadi located in the western desert of Egypt, west of the Fayum, 150 kilometers southwest of Cairo. It's been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since July 2005. This valley owes its name to its many fossils of primitive whales that have been discovered there, most believed to be 40 years old. The fossils discovered may not be the oldest, but what they lack in antiquity, they make up for in their amazing state of preservation, so much so that in certain specimens, their gastric contents are still intact. Imagine that! The presence of fossils of ancient animals such as sharks, crocodiles, sawfish, turtles, and rays discovered in Wadi al hitan makes possible the environmental and ecological reconstruction of how this desert used to be an ocean riddled with marine life. The first whale fossil was discovered during the winters of 1902 to 1903 by H. G. L. Bednell of the Geological Survey of Egypt. For the next 80 years, the site attracted relatively little interest, largely due to the difficulty of reaching the site. But in the 1980s, interest in the site was revived when four-wheel drive vehicles became more readily available to archaeologists. Wadi al hitan has thus become the most important site in the world, demonstrating one of the major changes in the history of life on Earth, the evolution of whales, land mammals that became marine mammals. Number 12. Low Water Levels Uncover Old Cars in Hiram Reservoir when the Hiram Reservoir started to dry up in 2021, what looks like a graveyard for old cars began to show up along the shore. In fact, the low water levels have revealed more than a dozen vintage cars. But how come there are so many cars in the reservoir? Well, the answer is very simple. The cars were dumped there on purpose during the 1950s to strengthen the reservoir's shoreline. In other words, they placed several old shells in the North Shore to help stabilize the bank. It wasn't the most sophisticated or high-tech solution, but it worked. So much so that if today they tried to move the cars, they would probably destabilize the bank. 
Some houses have been built on the reservoir since, and they're located right above where the old cars are at now, so moving them may cause serious problems for the houses. At this point, the cars can't be touched, not even cleaned, as doing so would cause issues to the area's geography. For over seven decades, the old frames were invisible, but they started showing up as the water started going down and people aren't happy about it. Today, engineers would probably not use the car dumping method anymore. We're much more advanced now. Number 11. Bizarre Jellyfish Discovered in California's Lake Oroville Despite Historic Drought Conditions 2014 was not an easy year in California when it comes to droughts. In fact, it was, at the time, the worst that had ever happened. But something curious came out of the historic drought. A small and very rare freshwater jellyfish was thriving in the decimated Lake Oroville, which is a rather large inland lake nestled in the beautiful foothills of the Sierra Nevada. Maybe it was because of the temperatures being unusually high that the invertebrates could reproduce in such great numbers. But we don't know for sure what caused this curious, unprecedented phenomenon. And when I say the jellies were small, I mean it. The little creatures were either dime-sized or quarter-sized, with very few being as big as a 50-cent piece. Despite their large numbers, these cute jellies cannot sting humans and are absolutely harmless. The Lake Oroville Visitors Center, located about 90 minutes north of Sacramento, posted photos on its Facebook page showing the tiny little invertebrates swimming around in a clear plastic water bottle. Climate change has some unpredictable outcomes, and this is certainly one of them. Number 10. Hunger stones with ominous messages emerge in drought-parched Czech River. Heat waves and lack of rainfall are causing disturbing messages carved centuries ago to emerge in waterways all across Europe. The German message, wenn du mich siehst, dann weine, meaning, if you see me, cry, is among the messages engraved on stones that would normally be submerged in the Elbe River in the Czech Republic. But where do these mysterious stones come from? They are called hunger stones, and they are found in a dozen Central European rivers in countries such as Germany and Poland. The messages would have been engraved several hundred years ago. In regards to the Djachin stone, the oldest year inscribed on the rock, and which is still easily readable, is 1616. According to specialists, the years 1417 and 1473 are, however, also engraved there, although less visible due to erosion. Czech researchers argued in 2013 that these hunger stones were carved to signify that the year, which is inscribed on the rock, had been marked by droughts, crop failures, food shortages, and famine for the poor. These stones could also serve as a warning to future generations in the event of new droughts. In other words, hunger stones serve as famine memorials and warnings. Many of these stones, featuring carvings or other artwork, were erected following the hunger crisis of 1816 to 1817 caused by the eruptions of the Tambora volcano. Number 9. 400-year-old bridge shows face after a water level drops. Welcome to Poyang Lake in Duchang County of East China's Jiangxi Province, home to the famous and ancient bridge known as Qianyan or Thousand Span Bridge. This bridge may look archaic, but when you take into consideration that it's 400 years old, it's quite an impressive feat of engineering. In ancient times, the 948 holes on the bridge helped flood discharge. It was built during the Ming Dynasty that spanned from 1368 to 1644 and it remains, to this day, the longest stone bridge spanning a lake in the whole of China. With the onset of the dry season 40 days earlier than usual, the water level at Poyang Lake lowered to 9.98 meters, making the 2,657-meter-long bridge visible. If not for the unusual circumstances, this impressive bridge usually stays submerged. China is very fond of its bridge. In fact, back in 2016, the local authorities managed to allocate special funds totaling 900,000 yuan, which is about $127,076, for its restoration. You can imagine that being four centuries old and being submerged most of the time, the bridge needed some tweaks here and there. 
Since then, the Qianyan Bridge has become famous as a very important historical and cultural artifact. Goes to show, things don't need to look fancy in order to be of the utmost quality. If something can withstand four centuries exposed to the elements, it merits praise. Number 8. Texas Drought Reveals Dinosaur Footprints a severe drought in Texas has revealed a discovery worthy of the Jurassic World movies. The mega drought exposed the path of an ancient dinosaur in a dry riverbed. That's right, they found incredibly large and clear footprints from an Acrocanthosaurus, a dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous period, some 113 million years ago, give or take. At that time, this region was located at the edge of a sea, which means that the giant lizard could have been going to wash its feet in the water. Just like the most famous dinosaur in the world, the T-Rex, the Acrocanthosaurus was also an apex predator, but the Acrocanthosaurus predates the T-Rex by about 50 million years. Weighing approximately 4 metric tons, this dino was also insanely big. Impressive footage shows the massive footprints imprinted into the bottom of the Paluxy River with the three toes splaying out from the heel. You can still see the sharp claw marks on the end of each toe, which Acrocanthosaurus is used for gaining running traction and pinning prey animals to the ground. It's quite rare to find such an immaculate footprint path. It's just like walking amongst the dinosaurs. Although, if an Acrocanthosaurus was around, the best bet would be to run and hide as fast as humanly possible. Number 7. 1,000 Carved Shiva Lingas in India and Cambodia in the Indian city of Sisri, Karnataka, you can find 1,000 carved Shiva Lingas, which are votary objects that symbolize the god lord Shiva and are revered as an emblem of generative power in the Hindu religion. This place is quite special. In fact, it's considered one of the pilgrimage centers in the country. It's believed to have been installed by ruler Sadashivaraya sometime between 1678 and 1718. But did you know that there's another place on this earth that also has has 1,000 carved Shiva Lingas? That's right, there are two places where you can find these gorgeous carvings. The second one is located quite far away in the city of Siem Reap in Cambodia. Although the one in India remains the prime pilgrimage destination and is situated in the center of the river Shalmala, the other one is gaining more and more popularity. The 1,000 Shiva Lingas are carved on the rocks along the banks of the river. The Cambodian site was discovered in the year 1969 by Jean Boulbet, an ethnologist, and it's considered the largest Hindu temple outside of India. Number 6. Historic monuments resurface as severe drought shrinks Spain's reservoirs. The waters of the Val de Cañas Reservoir in Cáceres have exposed once more the Dolmen of Guadalperal, a megalithic complex that has caused a stir in the archaeological community. The origins of the Dolmen of Guadalperal are not yet very clear. It's between 5,000 and 7,000 years old. According to experts, it's probably closer to 7,000, so we would be talking about the beginning of megalithic constructions in the entire world which some place them in this area. What there is consensus about is its shape. Dubbed the Spanish Stonehenge, the Dolmen of Guadalperal was a large collective burial, although today only its skeleton remains. Originally, the complex was covered by a vault and had a corridor 21 meters long and one and a half meters wide. During the spring equinox, the sun entered through the gallery and illuminated one of the menhirs that blocked the corridor. According to experts, it is a menhir sculpted in human form. They say it has shoulders and a mini head like a god. The sculpture has some engravings that still need to be studied. Although they're barely visible due to erosion, it also presents a series of sinuous lines that could be representative of a snake. Some, however, believe it's a map of the Tagus River. Number 5. Drought exposes dozens of Nazi ships sunk in Danube River. 
the drought has had unexpected consequences on the Danube River, Europe's second largest river that the Nazis traveled from southern Germany, where it originates, to reach the Black Sea and which notably crosses eastern Siberia. The receding waters have revealed dozens of Nazi warships that sank during World War II. In the Serbian Balkans, these Nazi warships that sank back in 1944 at the end of the Second World War are now visible for the first time since. The impressive size of these boats makes them very imposing. Although these boats belonged to the Nazis, it was the Germans themselves who had taken the initiative to sink them. The objective was to prevent the Soviets from taking them. The problem with the sudden reappearance of these ships is that they were never secured even though they still contain ammunition. There are now hundreds of them, most of which also still contain explosives. It is therefore very difficult now to make journeys on the Danube. The explosive-laden warships particularly pose a danger to shipping routes and Serbia's and Romania's local fishing industries. So far, some of the exposed ships have narrowed the navigable section of the Danube from 180 meters to 100 meters in some places. Number 4 Gold has been found in the Euphrates River as the water dries up like many other rivers across the world, the Euphrates is also drying up. In this case, the culprit is the water policies of Iraq's neighbors, Turkey and Syria. The result is a two-year drought. To sum it all up, the drying of the Euphrates is no longer a prophecy. It is happening for real. As you can see, in only six years, the river has decreased quite significantly in size. Amidst the terrible situation that is a drought, footage emerged of gold miners finding gold in the dried Euphrates riverbed. And what's even more surprising is that the gold was scattered like stone. Judging from these images, the miners are able to take the gold very easily and the gold nuggets are the size of a pebble, which suggests there has to be a rather large gold source nearby. Could this be the golden mountain that the prophet foretold? Mohammed said, the hour will not come to pass before the river Euphrates dries up to unveil the mountain of gold, for which people will fight. 99 out of 100 men will die in the fighting and every man amongst them will say, perhaps I may be the only one to remain alive. He also said, the time is near when the river Euphrates will dry up to unveil a treasure of gold. Whosoever may be alive at that time should not take anything of it. Number 3 Drought causes 450-year-old Mexican church to emerge from reservoir. The Quechula Temple is a ruin in the middle of the Grijalva River. It is a Dominican construction from the 16th century. Quechula was submerged at the time of the construction of the Neza Hualcoyote Dam in 1966, also known as Malpaso. Thanks to the droughts, the river lowered its level by 25 meters, leaving the remains of the Dominican temple visible. To access the structure, you can only do it by boat. What was once a bastion of Spanish evangelization in the Zoque indigenous community communities on the banks of the Grijalva River in the 16th century today is only a memory where desolation reigns. But it's also a joy to see this temple emerge from the waters. This phenomenon happens every 12 or 13 years. The facade is the most striking part of the structure, which has been somehow preserved even after spending 40 years under the water. Number 2 Extreme drought in Italy reveals hidden bomb submerged in river since World War II. A World War II bomb has been found and destroyed in the drought-stricken Po River in Italy. Discovered on July 25, 2022, near the village of Borgo Virgilio, the 450-kilogram explosive device was neutralized by the Italian army on Sunday, August 7, but not before having over 3,000 residents evacuated during the bomb's defusal for security measures. The airspace was also closed, as were railway lines. At first, many of the local residents didn't want to leave their homes. It seems like the most difficult job for the soldiers was to convince the neighbors and not to neutralize the immense bomb. Eventually, the Italian soldiers were finally able to carry out their operation. The bomb was defused and then destroyed. The American-made bomb was discovered by fishermen on the bank of the Po River due to a drop in water levels caused by the drought. Number 1 
Spanish ghost village reemerges after 30 years underwater. In 1993, the reservoir with the highest electrical productivity in Portugal to date was inaugurated. It was the Alto Lindoso Reservoir built on the Limia River very close to the border with Galicia. As expected, the construction of the dam led to the flooding of a vast area of the Limia Valley, which included Galician lands and part of the current Serra do Jores Natural Park. Much to the regret of the locals, entire towns had to be abandoned, as they would be forever submerged in the water of the Lamia River. Such was the case of Aceredo, the largest of them all. Aceredo is one of those rural towns that once teemed with life and that today emerges from the waters of the Lamia like a ghostly, devastated town. This happens in times of drought and especially with the increase in the production of electrical energy. Between the years 2021 and 2022, the village of Aceredo was fully visible, allowing thousands of onlookers to visit. It wasn't the first time that Aceredo had been seen, but this time the low level of the reservoir allowed us to see every last stone. As you can see, there's always a silver lining, even in times of climate change and drought. What about you? If you could visit one of these incredible sites in person, which one would you choose? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.